Hello everyone. In our last video, we have discussed about NAT and we have configured static NAT on this topology. And static NAT is a one-to-one -one translation. But today we have to discuss about PAT, port address translation, which is also known as many-to-one communication and we can call it as overload NAT. Like in, within overload NAT, you can like provide only one global IP address to all the IP address that are given in LAN. So I'm just extending my LAN network. Like I have four IP address, four pieces. Already I have configured N001 and 2 to my first two PC gateways three. So my fourth PC is 10 0, fourth IP is 10.004 and 10.003 is the gateway 10.005 10.003 is the gateway so already I have done routing here so first packet is failed and the next packet is successful yes so they are successful now now I have to configure overload NAT here with the command of pool Okay, so first of all, I have to use FA0 by 0 IP NAT inside exit and packet outsider. I have to show IP NAT outside. This one. So this is my inside network. So I have to configure inside NAT and this is outside. So first of all, I have to create pool here. IP NAT pool and pool name. For example, I have given pool name CCNA. Then I have to provide start IP address that is from global range. Okay. And end IP address. So if I am using overload NAT, then my start and end IP address remains the same. And net mask you can Take a net mask according to your need. I have used 252. Now, this is the pool for the global IP address, inside global IP address. Now, I have to permit my network 10.0.0.0 with 0.0.0.7 wildcard mask. This access list is used for like only 10 network will change. For example, I have connected another network with this router also. So, that's why only 10 network will be permitted to change into 200 okay so the command is ip nat inside source list list one pool ccna and at last i have to use command overload with the help of overload command what you will check if you are going to ping with 10 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but the reply is taken from only this IP address. So let's check. PING 10.0.0.1. So you can check 200.0.0.1. 200.0.0.1 remains same. So with the help of overload NAT, you can save your IP address space. Because in NAT, we need public IP address. So within overload NAT, I have only one public address for all the IP address that are in the lab. So this is all about overload NAT, which is also known as PAT. Thank you so much.